I bet a lot of you are stuck at home right now, just like I am. And I'm more than a little stir crazy right now, so let's learn some art. My name is Brad, I review tech for creative professionals, and if you're watching this in the future, congratulations for making it that far. I am recording this in March of 2020, and we are all in the middle of social distancing from each other. Now, I'm making this video because many companies and sites have offered extended periods of time to try their online courses or try their software while we're sitting at home board. Have those spider webs always been up there? And again, to future people, not all of these deals may be available to you then, but you know what? You probably have flying cars and robots that could break dance, so it seems like a pretty fair trade. So quick note on software, Adobe has created a two-month, 60-day free trial. The main reason they started doing this is for students who have been sent home from university, who still need to learn, still need to do their project stuff, but didn't have the availability of the, the software. So what they've done is they've created the 60 day trial. Unfortunately, it's available to all of us. In fact, many people have pointed out on Twitter that you can cancel your Creative Cloud subscription and re-up and get the two months free. So that's pretty cool. Affinity Designer, not to be outdone, then announced that they are doing a 90 day free trial. So three months for free, you can get Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Publisher try it out and do your thing. Also, if you really like it, right now it is 50% off all three of those pieces of software as well. So if you wanna do the digital thing, you can totally do that. Now onto the courses. Now there's a mixture of courses here. Some of these are free, some of these are offering long-term trials, and I consider all five of these that I'm gonna be talking about today to be, I guess I would call them college level courses. There's a lot of free resources out there, especially over here on YouTube, even on this here channel now that you're watching. So I consider these to be really in-depth courses, not one-off lessons, but something that you could really sink your teeth into and spend weeks or months working on and learning from and gaining some serious professional skills. So I guess we can get started. I'm gonna to go to number one. We're gonna talk about drawabox.com. Now, for those of you who are part of my email newsletter, you probably watched me last year talk about how I accidentally became an art YouTuber by reviewing tech for illustrators and artists, which was a hobby of mine. And I thought, you know what? I really wanna get better at this. And I tried several different online courses and ways of learning. And the one that I absolutely loved was is draw a box and the reason why is it starts with some really basic stuff like how to hold a pencil how to draw a line then how to draw a square then a cube and of course you then move on to drawing a box because that's what it is and then it takes those boxes and it expands on them some of the lessons get really crazy and complicated but what's really cool about it from my experience of using it was that I could feel myself getting better the lessons you do at the beginning become your drawing warm-up practice for your later on lessons. So something that was really hard week two or week three by week six or seven was just second nature because you were doing it over and over again. It starts really, really low at the point where literally anybody can take it. Now, he does recommend that you have a sharp, fine tip pen to do all this. There's some very good reasons he does, but if you're stuck inside right now and you can't get to any art supplies, you could definitely still do all of this stuff with a pen Pencil. I think if you have a pen, you're probably going to be better off. He's got some very good reasons as to why you should use a pen. But don't feel bad if you don't have the resources at this point. Just grab some paper that you have sitting around and a pencil and just start learning. Next up on my list, I want to talk about Proco. Proco.com. You've probably seen the YouTube channel if you've been on YouTube for a while because he has some amazing resources over there as well. But his online premium courses are really fantastic too. And they really dive in deep and really do some crazy stuff and give you a ton of practice and a ton of guidance. Now, when I first started my kind of go back to art school online experience last year, I, this was the very first thing that I took. And what I found was his figure drawing course was a little bit over my head because I was just starting out. So the draw box really did give me the foundation that really helped me out when I jumped to some of that other stuff on Proco. But what I like about Proco is that he uploads a ton of example videos as well. So I personally was really struggling with figure drawing, but there were so many examples that I could just follow along with what he was doing. It wasn't just one example. Okay, now we go on to the next lesson the next day. It was like there were a bunch of examples there that I could follow along with, then try it on my own. If I was still struggling, I could go back and try his examples again and then go out on my own. And that kind of repetition of being able to bounce back and forth was really helpful for me when I was learning. I should mention that unlike Draw a Box, which is free, 
Proco actually costs money. It costs a lot, but like I said, this is a college level course that you're getting. So it's if you're really into this stuff and really want to learn it, it's definitely a valuable course and worth what they're charging for it. But right now, you can get a 30 day trial and try any of Proco's courses. And there's a lot there beyond the figure course that I took. There's also a portrait drawing course, an anatomy course, a caricature course, and they have package deals where you can put all of these together and take all of them. The next one is Control Plus Paint, and that has a lot of free resources on it, and it also has some paid tutorials on it as well. If you wanna just dive in and learn the basics of digital painting, this is a wonderful place to start. Their basics courses are available for free on the website, and they teach you really the basics, everything from using a brush, it's a blending paint and, and that sort of thing and all the digital tools that you're gonna wanna use as you go. And then if you get deeper and you wanna purchase some of the higher end foundational courses, you could dive into that. But just dipping your toe in the water, this is a wonderful place to start. I will admit, I don't have quite as much personal experience with this site as I do with some of the other sites, but still the stuff that I've seen and the stuff that I've used is, is very good. Next up, we have a new one to me. This was recommended by some folks over on my Discord server and this is line of action so this one is semi-free and what I really like about it is it's a way to build a curriculum so it's not just a bunch of lessons that are sitting there that you can take but it's actually saying okay we're building a curriculum so you can learn these things and it starts with you establishing what your goal is and then it builds off that goal by giving you the classes to do that goal. So you have to sign up in order to actually access any of these things. And signing up is free, but when you dive in, if you want to get some of the extra resources that it comes with and extra features and all the bells and whistles, there's a monthly cost associated with that. The lowest monthly cost, I think it's only like $1.50 to get some of those features. And if you want everything in the full experience, it's about $15 a month. One of the cool things about this site that I haven't seen on any of the other sites is there's a nudity filter. So if you have little kids running around and you don't want to be learning anatomy from drawing naked people, you can toggle that on and get dressed people, which is really handy if you have kids. There's a lot here like figure drawing, animal drawing, things like drawing hands and feet, facial expressions, scenes and environments. So there's, there's a lot of depth to be explored. And again, like the last section, I've just learned about this in the last couple of days, but it looks fantastic from the short amount of time I've been using it. And the last one on this list is a personal favorite of mine, and that is SVS Learn. SVS Learn was founded just a couple years ago by three illustrators. We have Will Terry, Lee White, and Jake Parker, who are all professional published. I think they've all done children's book illustrations. Jake Parker, you might be familiar with if you're familiar with Inktober. He's one of the founders of that. He teaches some of the courses there. And what's interesting here is they go out and not, it's not only those three teaching these courses, but they're going out and they're finding real high level professional working illustrators and bringing them on board to teach some of these courses as well. So the reason I like this one is it does teach you the basics like some of the other courses do, but it's really geared towards storytelling in a way that none of the other courses are. There are lessons on things like perspective and cross hatching and inking practice and light and shadow, all that kind of, kind of thing that you would expect, but it, it also goes beyond that. I, I see this as the start the foundation of like a real online art school. They keep adding to it every month, adding new and new courses to it. I could see in a year or two this being something that could legitimately replace like a go there, take it sort of art school experience if you were willing to kind of self-drive yourself and not have instructors. And in fact, I think they do have online instruction. You can pay for that uh, and pay for the experience of someone critiquing your work and actually walking you through that and creating that curriculum for you as well. So they're doing a lot of interesting things here. And if, so if you're looking for that next level experience, like you've been drawing for a while, and want to take it to that next level, this might be one to take a look at that 30 day trial of. There's also my digital art starter kit if you're interested in learning about the hardware, just getting started in digital art. And that's about it for today. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. If I missed your favorite course, I definitely want to know about that down below in the description. Thank you guys.